Hello there, Stephen here from Promenade Music in Morecambe. Uh, I've got a short video for you today of some new hand-built pedals we've got in stock. They are the DFX Traveller. Now this is a great little distortion pedal. As soon as I plugged it in, it's, it's one of those pedals. It sounds good no matter what settings you put it on. So we're going to give it a bit of a blast. The gear I'm using is a Marshall JMP, very similar to a JCM800 series with the master volume, through a orange PPC112 cab with the 60 watt Vintage 30 in it. Uh, there's no other pedals in the chain, uh, no other boosts, no anything, just guitar, cable, pedal, cable, amp. Uh, it's mic'd with an Audio-Technica AT2020 and a Sennheiser E906. So just two condenser mics, just get a different place on the cab, just so you get a basic idea of how this sounds. I think it sounds great, hopefully it comes across. Uh, there's a nice little switch in here I'll demo at the back as well, which switches it from a high gain to a low gain. Uh, sort of scenario. So yeah, we'll get it plugged in, we'll get some sounds out of it. This is my initial starting clean tone. <laughs> so now I'm going to work through the non-clip engaged on the pedal, which is the centre position of the three-way switch. Then I'm going to move to the first position and then across to the second clip position. So hopefully you should hear the difference. Doing this in the bridge position with the volume on 10. Across to clip one. This is with all the controls facing 12 o'clock. And now clock across to position two. first position. Right, now let's look at the switch down the center, which is the clip switch. Uh, this is what it sounds like an A chord straight down the center with not in, engaged in clip one or two. Now if we engage that to clip a one, you'll hear the volume drops ever so slightly and there's a bit more concentration on the actual crumb. So if I hit open A chord, I'll switch between the two so you can hear the difference. between the two that without the clip engaged there's a lot more mids and just a lot meatier sound there. The clip one does give you the option of a bit more distortion though and I found that by you can you've got a bit more access to use the gain feature on the pedal as opposed to just using the tone. So you can back off the tone quite considerably so if we go back to the get clip one section there <laughs> It kind of loses that aggressive sharpness, becomes a little bit more rounded. Then you can also turn the gain up without it becoming too piercing. So now I've turned it up from about nine to about three o'clock. You can you can command a little bit more. Uh, you can command more gain out the pedal without it distorting too far. Now I'll get the differences between the non-clip and clip stage two. So this is again non-clip. <laughs> There's 
definitely a bit more crisp there to clip gauge to. And that's on the exact same settings, everything pointing up 12 o'clock. So now if we go back to it, and I'll just mess about, take, maybe take a little bit of the, uh, take a little bit of the gain out and put the tone on. Style sort of dis sort of distortion breakup that you sort of expect from an old crank Marshall. take the gain and the tone controls and swap them around completely so the gain goes to the position three and the tone comes down to about nine o'clock keeping the output straight up at twelve o'clock <laughs> to the middle non-clip position. Clip two, normal. So, output 12 o'clock. Gain three o'clock, tone nine o'clock. We'll go from center, first clip, second clip. Clean again. <laughs> 